I purchased a used Wavemaster 8500. The scope didn't include any probes, so I made a couple of uh, amplifiers to allow me to use some 10x probes with it. Eventually I'll make some circuit boards to include the app amps that I'm using in this one. For higher performance I tend to use resistive probes. This is a uh, PP066. These are good to about 7 gigahertz. This one's a 2K probe. I also purchased some PP066 probes. I'm not sure what these are. Uh, they claim to be 500 ohms. I know they're made by LaCroix. Uh, these were new old stock. Uh, I looked them up in a 1999 catalog and didn't find them. So what I'd like to do is measure what the characteristics of those probes are. So to do that, I'm going to use a network analyzer. So I have a very old 8754A HP network analyzer. Uh, if you know what this is, you're probably pretty old. <laughs> so to calibrate the network analyzer, I have a homemade calibration set. You can see in here, uh, there's a couple of different circuit boards. Um, there's several capacitance values and inductive values here. These range anywhere from, like this is a one picofarad uh, and up to about 820 nanofarads. I don't know if I go any higher with that, 1000 picofarad. And for inductance, uh, down to 2.8 nano henrys. These are all, uh, I also have some resistors. This is 150 ohm. So this is the calibration board itself. This is your 50 ohm terminator, your short, your open, and I also have a through down here. This piece is used for uh, prototyping. If I want to put a separate device as a through. And two different ones these made. Uh, one with uh, male type connectors and the other with female type. We just laid out several of these boards that I use for prototyping. This is the 8754 network analyzer. This particular one allows the use of a frequency doubler. This doubles the usable bandwidth of the instrument. Uh, the external doubler is located here. The top module up here, this is the storage normalizer. This has a GPIB interface and allows me to connect it to the PC. And down here I have an 8748A S parameter set. This particular set has been modified to allow me to run to the 3 gigahertz range. And this is the accessory kit for the network analyzer. These are the various probe extensions. See this network analyzer uses APC7 connectors. This is the software that I wrote in LabVIEW that supports the network analyzer. You can see I can have different types of polar displays, reflection coefficient, transmission, depending on what I want to measure. Uh, what we're going to be doing for starts is to measure the tip capacitance, or attempt to measure the tip capacitance. I'd previously calibrated the vector network analyzer. This is with a 50 ohm calibration resistor attached to the vector network analyzer. We can see it's measuring 50 ohms. The cursors are dead in the center, as we'd expect. Notice with the short installed, we get a dot at the short point. And here's with the open installed. And again, a dot on the open position. Next, what I want to do is install a small capacitor. This is a COG part made by ABX. Uh, this is a 1% device. It's at uh, 10 picofarad. You can see it's uh, quite small. It's an 0805 package. Uh, if you can read this, this is uh, reading 10.8 picofarads at uh, basically 90, at 95 megahertz. I can increase this on up. Uh, this is a 204 megahertz. I'm reading roughly 10.3 uh, picofarads. So another board, uh, similar part, or this is a one picofarad device. Same series from AVX, another 0805 package.
and we can see it's reading uh, 1.1 picofarads uh, so again within the ballpark it's kind of interesting to see this old test equipment making these kinds of measurements so here's the probe again that we're going to look at uh, what I'm planning on doing is putting a slip end over the top to connect this up to the network analyzer I'll just use this small BNC up to an SMA not real good but I don't suspect this probe was made to have very high bandwidth it is a 500 ohm probe um, I verified it's a uh, 450 ohms so on the other end here we just have a BNC it was made by LaCroix uh, if you can read that or not and it's a PPO 61 I've been unable to find any data on it as of yet okay so the probe installed it looks like about 2.1 picofarads roughly and uh, again this is at uh, 200 ish megahertz um, 500 megahertz and it's roughly uh, 1.6 picofarad the output of the probe is connected to the network analyzers input so so at 40 megahertz we're reading roughly uh, 500 ohms up at about 700 80 megahertz you can see the impedance falls off quite a lot about 124 ohms tip capacitance I'm measuring about uh, 1.6 picofarads next what I'd like to do is look at the transmission and again all I'm going to do is install this through here I've set the network analyzer up for two and a half dB per division the through has been installed and the vertical has been set to two and a half dB per division so the blue is looking at the phase the red is looking at the transmission through it again the sweep is all the way up to uh, 2.6 gigahertz what we want to do is calibrate this now okay now that the unit's been calibrated let's go ahead and install the probe Uh, sort of an interesting response off of it. You can see up here we're at roughly 700 megahertz at this point and you're under a dB of air. Again this is a two and a half dB per division so well within the three dB point. Um, once we start to get out to about here two and a half dB you're looking at roughly uh, 1.5 gig and on up so our 3 dB point out here is about 1.6 gigahertz uh, not bad for this little probe you know if you were trying to make uh, one gig measurements uh, it may be okay the probes probably only good for 500 megahertz you know that it was rated for I suspect that this was actually designed for one of their old digitizers 